People who have been in a coma, what was it like? Do you dream? Does it feel like you've been asleep for a long time? I was in a coma for over three days, but was in the hospital for over two months. The doctors were trying different procedures for my brain to kickstart the short-term memory. I literally couldn't remember anything. I would routinely reintroduce myself to nurses, not remembering them from a few minutes prior. I would start a conversation, only to forget what I was saying mid-sentence and just stop talking. It was so frustrating. I don't remember anything from that time, but I remember how I felt about certain situations when they are brought up by others. As an example, a person who I'm no longer with, yelled at me, with nurses present, and was banned from visiting. I don't remember that exchange, but I remember feeling extremely hurt and sad, but don't know why. When I was speaking with the relative, she brought up the yelling situation and the feelings came flooding back, but not what was said or who was there. I'm getting better and I'm able to retain new memories, overall. Just not during any extremely stressful moments. My brain protects itself and stops recording when I find myself in a stressful situation. It's really not fun and can be truly challenging was in an induced coma for six weeks due to pancreatitis. What I remember was so scary. I guess it was a nightmare or something but I dreamt I was being held in a basement by demon. It felt so real. When I told the doctors they said it was the propofol that made me hallucinate. I was in a coma for six weeks with double pneumonia sepsis and kidney failure. I have very few vivid memories from being under but had some very strange visions once I woke due to the out of drugs I was pumped full of. I had no concept of time and thought I had only been out for a day or so. My husband was placed in an induced coma following a motorcycle accident. He said it was like time stopped in his mind and he was stuck in a loop of the accident. He was conscious and remembers when he was loaded onto the flying doctor's plane at the scene of the accident, but he doesn't remember arriving at the hospital. My mother had been in a coma on a ventilator and she said she would at times kind of wake up, but not completely. She was aware she was at an event of some sort but no idea she was in the hospital. She could sort of see blurry images of people and she said they seemed to be moving really fast. She also heard a lot of unfamiliar sounds that she didn't recognize. In her confused brain she came to the conclusion she was at a rodeo. One of her regular nurses reminded her of a young friend of hers, and she thought maybe she had won the rodeo but was then disappointed she wasn't given a trophy. This scenario replayed over and over each time she sort of woke slightly. When, weeks later she finally did wake up completely. She couldn't speak due to the ventilator, but she was frantic to get a message to the nurses, so they gave her a pad to write on. She wrote out her friend's name. The staff had no clue what it meant so they called me and asked who this was. I explained she was a friend of my mom's. And even though at that time only family was allowed in the Iku, they made an exception for this friend being that it seemed important to my mother. Much much later when my mom was off the ventilator and recovering, she asked me, why was, friend, here to see me. I told her about her writing her name on the pad, and we assumed she wanted to see her. Oh, no says mom I just wanted her to get the trophy they owed her. I should add, my mom had never been to a rodeo in her life, so why she decided this was what was happening is anybody's guess. A good friend of mine was in an accident this past summer and ended up in a coma for about two weeks. He said the only thing he really remembers is dreaming he was walking around in the dark. After walking for a few minutes, he saw his eyelids as if he were inside his own head. As he approached them, they opened, and that's when he woke up. My boyfriend was in a coma for three days. We sat with him and talked to him the whole time. He doesn't remember any of it. When he woke up, 
He didn't know who I was, but he recognized his mother. He hallucinated for several days after that. He thought we were in a spaceship. I asked if there was a Wookiee aboard and he said yes. You. The singer of Anal Kant wrote a song called You're in a Coma which ridiculed people in comas. He later overdosed, went into a coma, and came out of it, stating in an interview that being in a coma was just as fucking stupid as I said it was. My soul was in a coma-like state for a week or so. There was a distinct point where I was holding his hand talking to him that he had a tear rolled down his face. You could tell from the eag that there was a lot going on in his brain. Months later when we were talking about what he missed in the hospital, he said he had a dream he could hear me talking to him and was so frustrated that he couldn't seem to respond that he started crying. It broke my heart to tell him it wasn't a dream. It was only a few days in a medically induced coma, but I just remember it being dark, short blips of family being in the room, and when the doctor first tried telling me where I was and asking me if I knew my name, I was tempted to answer it as Britney Spears, but I didn't want my parents freaking out. I was in a diabetic coma for two days, no dreams, no nothing, just doubt. When I, slowly, woke up I had some kind of mild, minor amnesia. I didn't know where I was, or who I was, but I recognized my mom immediately when I saw her. TMI but the doctors were just about to put in a catheter when I woke up. Then I peed for like two minutes straight. The nurse was impressed. I had a C-section and woke up four days later in ECU. Amniotic fluid leaked into my lungs during the C-section. I also lost a lot of blood and needed three blood transfusions. I was only in a coma for four days. It was black, no dreams, no time passing. My memories of before the coma don't have a timeline nor make any sense. To me it happened in surgery. I was fully awake and started getting tired and then black. Family says it happened differently. That it was after and had visitors for those days. I don't remember any of those days at all. I still have issues with short-term memory. My sister wasn't in a true coma, but was mostly unconscious for a week. She remembers having terrifying nightmares about things that were actually happening to her but were distorted. The worst one is that she remembers being tied down and stabbed in the neck. Well, she's not wrong, they had to put a special, very large four in her neck, a central line for dialysis, since she was so out of it, we had to tie her extremities down for the procedure because she was fighting it, so yeah, we tied her down and stabbed her in the neck, PTSD from being in a NICU, very sick is a real thing, I say we because I work at the hospital and helped. I read here some time ago about a dude who had an accident and banged his head pretty bad, but managed to turn his life around, found his forever soulmate and started a loving happy family. Some years pass, then he freaked out one day when he finally figured out that there was something wrong somehow with the lamp at his bedside, and that it didn't exist. The world literally started to collapse around him and he finally woke up from the coma his head injury had induced, alone, without ever having actually met his soulmate or started that family. He had imagined it all. He described such profound sadness that I still remember that answer to pretty much that same question. I wasn't in a coma. But I sort of woke up during abdominal surgery. I remember seeing the nurse holding a cell phone to the doctor's ear. He was talking to tech support because the robotic surgeon was offline. I thought, this is a stupid way to die. My stepdad was in an accident and was in a coma for just over a month, or just under two months and he doesn't remember any of it. Keep in mind that he had a brain injury so I'm sure that changed things. However, there was a History Channel documentary playing for weeks on and in his room since he loved history, and when he came out of the coma he thought that he had lived through the documentary. Not during the coma time, but as if it was an old memory. He kept telling people about it, and even said, my mother's name, keeps saying it didn't happen. 
but I was his chef, I remember it, no, it didn't matter to him that he actually had never known how to cook anything outside of a microwave. My first wife, at 18, before I met her, had a cardiac arrest in a swimming pool and drowned. Fortunately for her there was a CPR class going on right next door so help was there immediately. She was two weeks in a coma, and at first wasn't expected to survive, then was expected to have suffered severe brain damage. Instead, she survived, returned to college six months later, and finished her four-year degree in three years. Later married, me, had two kids, published a book, and, practically single-handedly, opened a charter school before her heart finally gave out at age 43. Long introduction, sorry, she told me that during the coma she had strange dreams, that later she realized were real things happening to her. For example, people in scuba gear hovering around her, the surgeons when they implanted her pacemaker, a little girl trying to push her out of bed, nurses trying to change the bed. There were some other stories I no longer remember. I was out for six weeks due to a brain virus, I wasn't expected to survive. I had no concept of how long I was out when I woke and the first couple of days are very sketchy. I don't remember any dreams. But, I do have memories of what happened in the room around me. So I can confirm that it is very important to talk to people in a coma. Like a few other diabetics have said, I also don't have any memory of being unconscious after passing out from high or low blood sugar, usually in my sleep. Just suddenly came to, sweaty, disoriented, or in the air. It's really scary to see how much time you've lost. Wonder why you're so sore, seizures, and sometimes hear about what you said or did that you don't remember at all. Other times you do remember the lead up to unconsciousness but you were too sick or confused to help yourself. Fortunately with new continuous glucose monitoring technology I haven't had any major issues for a few years now. It's a huge relief. Brief 36-hour coma after a serious car accident when I was 16. Absolutely no memories at all of my time in the coma. When I woke up, I was very confused for a number of days. The accident erased my memory of the month prior to the wreck. Gradually, over the next year or so, those memories all came back up until the point I turned onto the road the accident happened on. I was in a coma for about 3 days back in 2018 and I don't remember much, but I do remember having vague dreams, like a whisper of 1-2 dreams the entire time and then I woke up as if only 5 minutes had passed. It really just felt like I'd been asleep for a few minutes and teleported from my bedroom to a hospital bed but instead of a few minutes elapsing. It was three days. Whatever meds they gave me wiped the vast majority of my memory all the way through about a week after I woke up though. I did feel like a different person somewhat after the coma. Like I was me but as if I'd been reset. I'd cow to describe it well enough to make sense. But it was a very strange experience. I don't remember any dreams. I also don't remember removing my four needle twice. Serious car accident when I was nine. My father sat in a rocking chair for three days waiting for me to open my eyes. When I did I asked about the new friend my father didn't know. She was in the car. He thought I'd lost it for sure. I was in a medically induced coma for seven days. And I don't remember anything at all. The entire week is just pitch black. I was awake for about half a day before memories started to form. The following few days I would have crazy hallucinations that felt more real than actual reality. The weird thing is that I still remember most of my hallucinations vividly, but I can barely recall anything that actually happened. I learned in nursing school to talk positively to coma patients. I had this one the last three nights of his coma. I would introduce myself. Tell him what I was going to do, offer reassurance that he was safe and getting better, the whole nine. He got extubated and was breathing on his own and I hear, wilted, wilted. 
I already clocked out but I go in there, hi, it's wilted. Wilted, he gasps, my balls itch. I laughed my ass off, he must have thought he was still restrained so I told him to go ahead and scratch. Now, whenever I'm in a certain mood, like, I don't want to do something I have to do, or it's beyond me at the moment, I like to grumble, my balls itch. A couple of years back I was only in a coma for two weeks, it wasn't due to an accident or anything it was medically induced. I did have a strange dream though, turned into a reoccurring nightmare for a little while afterwards. Basically I had to climb up this black staircase that curved out of sight further up. As I started to climb water started pouring down the stairs making it difficult to go up it. Eventually I'd hear noises behind me, sorta like heavy machinery but distorted to hell and back, that made me climb harder and faster but more water came down the stairs. As a kid it was absolutely terrifying. Couldn't tell you what it meant but it still haunts me thinking about it. As for waking up though it wasn't too bad, quite a shock sure but honestly not too bad for me. Weirdest thing that came from it all was how tired I felt. For weeks I couldn't seem to get any energy. Definitely a two tenths at best lol. I was legally dead and the dot brought me back. I was then in a coma for a month and a half. I remember absolutely nothing that happened. I wish I could remember something, anything. Nope nothing. A friend of mine got clipped by a box truck and flipped her jeep several times. I went to visit her in the hospital. I was warned she was alert but still in a coma. I talked to her and touched her knee and was saying I was going to leave. She started moving her knee back and forth. She understood me. I stayed longer and she would search the air with her eyes. Occasionally they would lock on mine and I remember being taken aback by the way they cut into me. She ended up with significant brain damage but can walk, feed herself, use the bathroom on her own but couldn't speak even though she tried so hard. She didn't remember me visiting her. In coma for two weeks, lots of wild visions experiences that were very religious in nature. Time went by quickly, was told they flatlined nine times and had to be resuscitated each time and remember, or dreamed. Hearing the steady beep of the heart monitor twice, very confused when I came out of it. I'll share some of the visions if anyone is interested, haven't spoke about or thought about them for a few years now as all this happened back in 2010. I was in a two-week coma after a heroin overdose about a decade ago. A couple of months after waking I was able to recall the days leading up to the incident vaguely. Naturally, there was just blackness and nothing once I had on. I then recall waking up while being intubated. Fucking nightmarish experience, surrounded by nurses and doctors pinning me down by my limbs, bright lights noise, unable to scream, unable to breathe, people yelling, machines pinging, then blackness. After waking 13 days later, it was as if I'd awoken from a single night's sleep with no dreams, no consciousness whatsoever. Just time travel basically took me a few hours to comprehend who and where I was, but I reckon I'd have been none the wiser if I had died that day. Not a coma but sort of related. I once sat up after giving blood and passed out onto the floor, breaking my nose and chipping a tooth. I had a long, involved dream with many people and storylines. When I came to I didn't believe the nurse when she told me I was only out for a second or two. I don't give blood anymore. V been in a coma twice, both after delivering my children. During the first one, my boyfriend had driven me to the ER and as soon as I walked in the door I was out. At some point, before they moved me to a room, I could hear my mom asking if I was dead. I wanted to yell out I can hear you dot 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 but I couldn't. I don't remember anything after that. 
After the birth of my second child my boyfriend made them keep me an extra day because he didn't want to repeat of the last time. They said I must have tried to get myself up because they found me on the floor between the bed and the door during rounds. A couple of days before I woke up they sent me for a court or MRI or something and I could feel them wheeling my bed down the hall and being agitated when the wheels ran over rough seams, like moving from the floor to the elevator making the bed slightly shake.